Corinth. It was the home of the Isthmian Games. The play. Nimmo cracks one to deep right field. Judge takes a look, and that ball's in the upper deck. Tendonitis. Nimmo crashes one to deep right field. Back goes Marquez, and it's out. Hit in the air, deep right center field. Back goes Williams looking up, and it's out of here. Brandon Nimmo wins it with a three-run homer. Ball game. Frankie Rodriguez, I don't think, was going with the goggles yet. He didn't need him. Nimmo takes ball four, and Keith's record is toast. That was a strike. <laughs> 29 walks in a calendar month, obliterating Hernandez from the record book. No. Nimmo toward the line, diving, and makes the catch. Two to Nimmo. Breaking ball drill, deep right field. Verdugo going back, and it's out of here. Nimmo does it again. A pinch hit three-run homer. Number 16 for the happiest man in baseball. Okay, so either the tech team is way tired of our welcome to Corinth bumper, which is possible. I mean, they've told me. They're, I didn't expect, or, or Brandon might be in the house, or, or maybe both. I think Brandon is in the house. Brandon Nimmo, would you come join me, brother? Would you give me a welcome? How about that? That's awesome. Happened to be in town, and I told him, anytime you're in town, man, I want you to stop by. God bless you, man. Good to see you. Now, before I introduce you, you said something really cool, that that, um, that song they started with. So, uh, yeah, that song that I start, they started with the evening with, that was my walkout song to start the 2019 year. <laughs> Isn't so, that cool? That obviously means that's, I was supposed to be here. That's exactly right. You were supposed to be here tonight, because yeah. we haven't sang that song in a long time. No, that so was, there that you was go. great. That's, that's a little bit, it's a year old or so. Welcome back, man. It's good Thank to have you. you here. It's great to be here. Oh, my gosh. I'm glad we could work this Love out. Love following you, watching you this year. So all those highlights, and that was just a snippet of the highlights. Eight, 2018 was huge. Mm -hmm. That was 2018. Yeah. 2019 was amazing in one way, but you came out and you had a lot of, a lot of injuries yeah. in 2019. And uh, I'd like if you just tell us a little of your story. A lot of us follow you, man, and yeah. we're just excited for you. And I know this year was tough. Yeah. Well, so yeah, it's been a couple of years since I've been here. Uh, 2017 was when I was last here, and yep. so I had an amazing year in, in 2018. That was some of the highlights, and uh, uh, it really broke down to I, I got to be one of the better players in, in the major leagues that year, and um, that was a goal of mine ever since I, I was a kid to try and not only be in the big leagues, um, but to succeed in the big leagues, and you know, being from Wyoming, not many people believe you can do that. Um, so they, they say they oh, remind it's not. you that every 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 interview is always, well, you're from Wyoming, you didn't play, yeah, you, don't you know, high, high school, school baseball, yeah, 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 yeah. How'd you do this? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. And and so to be able to do that w was amazing. Um, yeah. And I said all these that they were saying the walks record in in a month, and uh, there was just a bunch of things that happened in 2018 that were great. But uh, to sum it all up into very you know uh, very short. Uh, meaning was that 2018 really taught me one thing that I, I have a great wife. Chelsea's here with me. Just stand up, Chelsea. Say <laughs> hi. Would you wave real quick? Thank you for being here. It's behind here. behind the scenes. Yes. Um, I had kind of fallen away from my time uh, with with God every day, and and had started to struggle with uh, when I when I wasn't doing well wondering why, you know, and, and what I had done, or, or, you know, you start to just really microscope, you know, look at your life under a microscope and be like, well, uh, well what's going on, and why aren't you, why aren't we doing this, guy? we could do so many great things, and, mm. and, uh, and she really saw that, she started to remind me towards the end of the season that she could see it, and how I was acting, and, and, and how I was dealing with situations, and, and, uh, and that I really needed to get back into the Word, and, so we had a come to Jesus meeting, and mm. uh, and she said, "I can't, I can't do this anymore like this." So, uh, so we, we need to ha we need something to change. And so then in that September is when I got back into the Word. I started middle of August, got back into the Word every day, started realigning my priorities on God number one, and whatever comes after that uh, is whatever God wants. And uh, I had an amazing September and mm -hmm. finished the year well. And when we looked up, we looked up at the end of the year, and I was in the top three of the best hitters in the big leagues. And we couldn't believe it. 
And uh, I was the second in, in on-base percentage between, behind a guy named Joey Votto. And if you pay attention to baseball at all, he's been around for 15, 20 years. Big deal. And he's always been a great, Big great deal. hitter. And so it's been amazing. Yeah. And w what I got at the end of that year was I felt great for a month yeah. after that. And I accomplished everything I wanted to since I was a kid. I, had, I was a big leaguer. I was successful. I wasn't just in the big leagues. I was one of the better big leaguers. And everything that, that came with that. And I still had a God-shaped hole missing in my life. Mm. And nothing could fill that but God and being in the Word and having a relationship with Him. Only then was, was I able to, to feel like you have a purpose, like you're where you're supposed to be in life, that you're being guided by God. Other than that, we're just, we're just living life for our own, our own interests. And that's really what society is telling us nowadays is just worry about yourself and don't worry about anybody else. And mm. I've just really come to find that through all of the success and everything that comes with that, there's only so much that we really need and God provides for that. Mm. And the rest we should be looking to try and, and do what God wants out of that. And he's going to provide d open doors for that. I, I, when I started 2018, I, I was a bench player. And, he, and two guys fell down in front of me and I'm not saying that God did that, but he, there was an open door, <laughs> and I ended up playing amazing yeah. and, and having a great year. And so that helped going into 2019 because I said, okay, whatever God wants to happen in this year, I'm, I'm behind it 100%. And, and it's not because of me that last year happened. It's because God wanted it to, and it opened doors, and I got to go speak at FCA conferences, and I got to go do these things and go share the word and say, you can be a major league baseball player, and you can follow Christ. Those two things can happen. There's a lot of public figures in, in, in the limelight right now that would, would, would say otherwise. Mm. We don't really see a lot of people walking the walk That's true. and talking the talk. Especially in that spotlight in the big stage. That's, exactly. That's another level of test. We, maybe that's another topic, but I've, right. I've always been amazed that you've, you know, at least from outwardly, you're saying inwardly there's some things that, you know, yes. That the Holy Spirit and Chelsea, which probably sound a lot alike sometimes, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah they do. They um, do. Kind of got, kind of yeah. got you back to the the roots here. But, um, but really, you're 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 out there telling the Lord, the world that Lord's still number one in your life. Yeah. that's pretty big. And so in 2019, when we started, uh, I find it ironic that I can come in, in front of you today and, and say I had that amazing 2018, and then I come into 2019 and I start the year off 0 for 25, hmm. and my wife felt so terrible for me because the media was just blow, was just tearing me up. Yeah. And uh, she comes, she wasn't, she was at her job. She finished her job. She's, she works 12 hour shifts, ER nurse and at the third busiest hospital in the, in the country. And she felt so bad for me that she drove from when she, as soon as she got done, she drove to the park. She didn't even watch the game. She just wanted to be there for me after I went over four with four strikeouts and she's, she's just there, and she just says, I just want to be here for you. And I, and I come out, and I say, I'm fine. I really am. I know it's hard to believe, but I know God's got this. If he wants me to succeed, then I'm going to. If he doesn't, it's, it's baseball's done. Mm -hmm. And that's really what 2018 had done for me. It's shown me that just because you succeed in life, and you get wealth, and you get possessions, you get all these things the world tells you you're supposed to have, it doesn't mean anything in, in the long run. The long run, we, we need to make sure that our, our relationship with, with Jesus Christ is number one and that we're making sure we tend to everything in the word first, first and foremost, and then our cups will overflow. Right. You know, and, and, and obviously in different ways. I'm not saying everyone's, everyone's going to be rich or everyone's going to play in the major leagues, whatever it is. Whatever God has given you, work as if, you've, work as if you're working for God. And that's really what I've tried to uh, put into my mindset now is that no matter what I'm going through, I'm going to work every day as if I'm working for God. And I'm going to look myself in the mirror, and if I have any regrets at the end of that day, my goal is to not have any. If I do, well, then there's, some, there's something to learn from. And that's, and that's the character building that God is more interested in me. Right. He wants me to be more like Christ. He doesn't, get, he doesn't really care if I, uh, if I make a bunch of money and play Major League Baseball for a long time. But there are people in Major League Baseball that he wants me to reach. Yeah, I think so. And so that's why I'm there. Not because I work really hard and, and I've done all these other things that nobody else does. No, I was very fortunate. God opened a bunch of doors for me, and now I get to 
prophesy his name and say, Jesus gives me hope and courage and strength at night. And when I'm going 0 for 25 and 4Ks, I can come out of that locker room and say, it's all good. Because God's got me taken care of. Wherever I'm supposed to be, that's, that's where I'm supposed to be, and God's going to take well, care of me. Well, you may have just answered the next question I want to ask you. Because, okay, so I think I saw the game when you hit the wall. Mm-hmm. Is that when you injured your neck? Yeah, so I hit the wall. I, 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 I ended up coming back, and I, and I would end up being okay. Mm-hmm. I was back to where I was by April 15th. And April 15th, I went back, and I, I caught a ball on the wall. Yeah. But I hit it full speed, and there's these little windows in Atlanta in, in the padding. And when I hit that... My neck was turned, and I had my uh, sh- shoulder up, and I hit right underneath one of those windows, and I hit it full speed, oh, wow. and it ended up giving me two bulging discs in my neck. And everybody has bulging discs here, mm-hmm. I'm sure. But uh, to try and play with the top 0.01% uh, of people in the world, mm-hmm. and my job is to run that way and look, <laughs> and look this way, yeah, and right. look behind me when I'm catching the ball, and then when I want to hit, I have to be able to turn uh, a lot more than a bul- the bulging disc would allow me. So how, two questions now. i got more questions for you. How's the bulging disc? How, how's your neck doing? Yeah, you- it's good. It's good. We've, we've got, so we got a routine going, a, a PT schedule, and I do it uh, every day for, for 10 to 20 minutes. Wow. And, uh, and, and that helps me to have my mobility. Uh, but we didn't figure that out for a couple months. So you were you were out. I mean, you were on the bench from like was it April? Was that, that so long? so we tried to play through it for a month. That's what I thought. Yeah, that's and, right. And I, and I didn't get on base other than walking. <laughs> so it was a rough. It was just, a rough month. Just couldn't. That, that's a big deal. Yeah. So then and then you came back August. You were here. Yep. I, I came back September 1st. September I, yeah, 1st, wow. Yeah, so I, I missed from May 20th until September. But here's 1st. the cool part, and maybe this is the answer. Maybe. I'll let you answer it. How in the world did you take that much time off? And when you came back, you were like, in my opinion, you were, you were had the numbers you did in 2018. Right. How did that happen? Well, th- through that, um, we understood again that God, that God was in control. Yeah. And, and whatever was supposed to happen. And we, we, you know, I'm not saying we understood it. We weren't like, hey, you know, you know kind of what's going on here. But it was a lot more, we're, we're okay. Maybe, maybe this is it. Maybe this is all, and, and God's got a different plan for us now. Um, but that gave us a lot, of, a lot of peace. And then secondly, from the physical side of it, uh, we went to a different doctor in, okay. in, in L.A., and, and we were able to um, get good advice from him. And he okay. said, you need to take a month off. Yep. You need to not play for a month, which didn't sound great at the no, time. But, no. And he said, and then you need to take another month, and you need to rehab. Oh, and wow. and that rehab is is what's going to build up that you're going to be able to play. Again. And that's what you're still doing. And I'm still doing it, but we had to do a lot more of it during that month yeah. in order to build up the small muscles in there. And wow. but everything everything turned out. And like you said, I came back, and and it was it was rough there for a little bit. I wasn't sure I was going to come back no. and do. And well, I wasn't sure I was going to be able to play the same way sure. I did. But we came back in September, and I honestly had no troubles in, in, in the whole month of September of yeah. turning my neck and, and doing all that stuff. And, and I did. I, I put up the same exact numbers, even a little bit better. Yeah. Uh, oh, you had a than, phenomenal than I, fall. Than I did in 2018 for that but, September. But I think that mindset, is, and that, that translates to everybody. I, mean, I don't care. Everybody has times when life at the bottom falls out, and you're just like, okay. But the, the ability to have that from the front end telling Chelsea after that game is like, I'm good, and to be able to maintain that, that's a testimony to, you know, the Lord, your faith in him, and then and just having the attitudes like, okay, God, whatever it is, I'm going to go do it, and Amen. that's awesome. Yeah. It's really it's, cool to see. Gives me another, uh, another story. Another story. Another story. To talk about. I don't know. I, you know, I told you guys both, I don't know what it's like to ride in the, the car that you're <laughs> riding. Like, it, just watching it gives me a stomach ache. I, yeah. I, I have to download with your dad. It's like, how in the heck? What's the deal? Yeah. And w- how's he doing? Yeah. And, then I, and then we'd have conversations out there. It's like, how does he go like from not playing all summer to come back and doing this? What in the world? So I'm glad you answered that for me. Yeah. God's that helps. grace, too. God's grace. I mean, it, like I said, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be in this position being from where I'm from, yeah. going through what we've gone through, unless God wanted me to be there. Yeah. And so... In saying that, I need to look for, okay, where, why does God, God want me here? What, like, not necessarily so I can 
do these worldly things. But yeah. where, where can I go? I can come and speak to you guys, and I can just be a little bit of encouragement. I, I always try and remind myself when I come up here that if I can just reach one person out yeah. there, and, and it just means something to them, then that's worth it to God. That yeah. was worth everything that you go through, yeah. is if you can just reach one person and just let them know that God's there and he loves you and, and that he wants the best for you, but what he really wants is a relationship with you. Yeah. And that coming from me is the same as, as yeah. anyone else. It doesn't matter where you're at in life. It's yeah. all the same. Yeah. And, uh, and I, I, that's just what I try and remind myself. I try and look at that. And, and I need Chelsea to... To do that, to help me do that. Okay, so I'm glad you brought her up. Long perspective. The Lord's number one in your life. Number two, right in there, has got to be your relationship with Chelsea. You mm-hmm. guys just had anniversary. How many? How many years now? Just two. Two yeah. years. Their <laughs> second anniversary. Well, congratulations Thanks. to both. Yeah. And but I know that your relationship. I think that's got to be difficult to be in two very major league baseball, and then she's in the ER having crazy hours. Yep. You know, to have that relationship and maintain that's uh, that's got to be a challenge. Yeah. God's grace again. God's grace. Yeah, it's uh, you know it. It wouldn't be possible just just through us. Yeah. And and I'm not going to sit up here and tell people that marriage is easy. Yeah. It's not, and it's not. I don't think it's meant to be, but it's meant to again teach character. And yep. I, and I've learned that I'm very selfish, mm. and she points that out. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> said, the Holy Spirit sounds a lot like our wives. It's just amazing. I, and so yeah, I get to I get to work on that, and that's what I get to work on in my marriage. But yeah, that's uh, awesome. no, she's she's continually teaching me, and and we do we, we we have to work every day, and we both have to be in the Word. Otherwise, yep. the world would tell you that it's not right, and oh, you should go different ways and all that stuff. But we're trying to live by what God says, not want what the world says. I'm glad to hear you say that. And, and I also know you, you said something else backstage I really liked when you said, you know, one of the things you forgot to say is, mm. is it, is this your will, God? Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's one one thing. of the things in 2019 when, when all these things were, were happening in, in the beginning is my agents had a conversation with me early in the year about, okay, you'll do this and you'll make this much and it's going to all be great. And, and we forgot and Chelsea and I both, we forgot to say, God willing, wow. this stuff will happen. God willing, we'll go here and do this and that. God willing, we'll, we'll get to do these things. And that's in James. I'm sorry, I can't quote it for yep. you right now. Uh, I should have brought it up on my phone. But um, it says that you should always say God willing first and, and have that in your mind that it's not your will that we should live by. It's God's will. Okay. And, and so that's one thing that I've tried to remember in 2019 is that in everything we do, even the smallest things, just going throughout the day, God willing, I'll, I'll go to work and come back and we'll, and we'll mm-hmm. do this and we'll do that. And, and if not, we'll, we're, we're in our relationship with God. We're, we're in the word and we know it's his will. And that's, that's the better thing is for, for us to be going down his will than ours. And so yeah, that was one thing that we really had to, yep. uh, po- God pointed out to me, just brought that verse out, made it very, you know, bold, underlined, highlighted in my life was that I needed to remember that it's his will and that uh, I need to put that first. Awesome. God bless you, man. That's a great, that's a great reminder. We need to remind of that all the time because we can get out, we can get in front of God. It's, yeah. re- it's easy to do. Very easy. God bless you. Thanks. Wish you all Thanks, the best. Galen. Thank you Appreciate for dropping it. in, yeah, man. Of like for God, me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Chelsea, thank you. God bless you guys. I know he's got, I, I usually leave that here. Um, Brandon and Chelsea have to get on a plane tomorrow morning. So, so here's the deal. Saturday night, I know you're, you're, you're groaning. You're saying, are you kidding me? We're canceling on Saturday night church and it's got to be